Hello and welcome to the series of UiPath Orchestrator API. We are about to end our series and till now we have seen what is API, what is Postman and how we can use Postman to test our API. Then we have seen how we can authenticate and get folder ID for Orchestrator API. We have seen how we can get the process data and process version. Also, we have seen how we can get the logs, how to run the process with and without input parameter, how we can get the asset and create asset onto the orchestrator. Also, we have seen how we can create queue and get all the queue available under orchestrator. And in this video, we're going to see how we can create the queue item under specific queue and how we can get all the items of a specific queue. Before going ahead, we need access token uh, to authenticate our API. We need folder ID of our orchestrator and we need a queue ID to get the, uh, all items of that particular queue. So uh, we have already seen how we can get the access token and how we can get the folder ID in my previous video. So if not, I'll suggest you to please go and watch that video. In my previous video, we have already seen how we can get the queue data. Under the response section of the queue API, you'll find a queue ID. So let's go ahead and see how we can create the queue items. To create the queue items, UiPath are providing this API, which is queue item create, along with the endpoint, and it takes the bearer token for authorization and it takes the header, uh, content type, tenant name and folder ID. So under body section, I'll show you, uh, it takes the name of that particular queue that we want to create under orchestrator. It takes, the pri it takes the priority of that particular queue and then it takes the content that we want to add as an item. So you can add any uh, any content here. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, so I'm testing this API in Postman. So I just need to replace this URL with my own orchestrator URL. Under authorization, I need to select OAuth 2.0. Under header section, I need to mention content type and application JSON. Then we need to mention the tenant name and folder. Whenever we are using a cloud API or a cloud orchestrator, so the tenant name is mandatory uh, in the header section. So we always need to mention the tenant name under header section. So under the body section, basically we are adding the items under any queue. So we have to provide the name of a queue here. So let's go to the orchestrator. So I have a two queue available here. So I'll use this one new queue. So I'll provide the name of queue here and priority would be normal. Then I'll uh, specify the content that I want to add in this queue. We are good to go as we have provided the endpoint here. We have provided the bearer token for authorization. We have provided the header. We have provided the body. Let's click on send and send the request and see whether our data is going to be add or not. We are creating the queue items. So we are creating the resources in short. So to create a resource, we need to select the post method. As you can see here, uh, we got the response uh, 201. And our request has been fulfilled. Let's uh, go ahead and refresh the queue section of orchestrator. And you can see here our item added into the queue. You can view the transaction as well. So if we see the value, this is the value we have provided. So now we have seen how we can create the queue items and uh, and add that particular item under any queue. Now we'll see how we can get all the queue items by a queue ID. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So to get all the items, uh, we have an API, uh, which is of type get. 
we need to provide our endpoint like this. Uh, we have to provide a filter in short here, and it takes the queue definition ID as a parameter, and it takes a bearer token as authorization. And under the header, the same thing we need to mention, which is of content type, tenant name, and folder ID. So let's go ahead and test this API and uh, get all the items for the queue. So similarly, we need to replace this URL by uh, our orchestrated URL. For this filter uh, queue definition ID, we have to provide this uh, provide the ID. Queue definition ID will be getting uh, you know after creating a request. We've already created the queue items, so we already got the queue definition ID. So here, from here, we can uh, get the queue definition ID and we can provide it here. So uh, as you can see, it automatically takes the uh, queue definition ID under param section. So under authorization, we just need to select OAuth 2.0. It will automatically take the bearer token that we have generated using uh, Authenticate API. Under header section, we need to mention content type, uh, then folder ID and tenant name. So we are good to go as we have provided the uh, endpoint. We have provided the authorization token. We have provided the header. And let's go ahead and see the queue items so we have only three items in our queue which is of uh, we can segregate by its priority normal high and normal and let's copy this and paste it here for better understanding so if we can see here we have a three items in the in the queue so which is one of priority normal and one of priority high and then again priority normal. These three items are replicating in our response. In this video, we have seen how we can add the item to any specific queue and how we can get all the items uh, by queue ID from the orchestrator using orchestrator API. So I hope you like the series of this orchestrator API and thanks for watching my video and uh, stay tuned for more such video happy learning